my indoor cricket days. Okay, it was pretty much for a, for a year, really. I was, so with Azanovsky and Dradrak and Whirly and Bratwick and stuff, down in Cooma Town, south of Canberra, back in the 80s, sort of, you know, I fell into the arcade games group of people and they were the sort of the kids hung with, the little gang, I suppose. And, uh, we, we'd play cricket down in the nets, near, near where Dradrak lived, not far from the arcade, down at the Rotary Oval, and we'd play in the nets and do some training. But what happened is that uh, we eventually got into uh, the, the Kuma Hotel cricket cricket team and uh, played for a, a season, but um, we also played the indoor cricket up in, up not far from where I lived actually, up on the hill, in um, behind North Street, I think on Bolero Street or something like that. Uh, yeah, something like that, Bolero Street up in um, Kuma North as it were, and uh, had a season, 1989 season, playing indoor cricket. Now, um, there was uh, two nets, two two courts of the indoor cricket court, and Mr. Brennan ran it, and he was um, a vet in town, and his daughter Pamela um, was in my class at St. Pat's, actually, so I knew Mr. Brennan, and um, we'd go up on, I think, Thursday evenings, I think it was, around... 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, and there might be a couple of matches played each, e each evening. I think it was Thursday. I could have been accused of Wednesday. I can't remember for sure. It's been so long, but I'd go up there, and we'd have a team. Our, our gang, me and Dradrak, and Dradrak was probably the best batsman, but uh, Asnovsky and Worley and Ratwick and uh, I think Shan Donald Shanley almost played a bit, I think, and uh, we, had a, we had a few people on the team, and... Uh, We'd play in the B-grade competition. We never really quite ended up getting a name, I don't think. I think there might have been a name for our team. I wasn't sure, but... Um, you know, each player bats and bowls for a, a few overs each, and a um, couple of overs each, and... Um, we ended up winning the B-grade competition. Um, developed in the, in the game sort of a quick running between the wickets, sort of... As soon as the bowlers bowl the ball... You take off, and what what the batsman do? It just runs up and sort of blocks it and, and runs. So make sure his body connects to the ball, because you, you can get a leg by that way and so forth. You don't actually have to don't actually have to hit it to be able to run it and score a run. So we developed a quick in between overs in between the wickets sort of style of play of doing that, and um, you only have to run to halfway to score a run. So. Um, it was it was pretty intense. It was pretty action oriented time, and uh, I had a lot of energy back then. And uh, I'm 46 now, and uh, gosh, those were the good old days when I could, could get around and doing things. I played indoor cricket later on in uh, the Canberra competition. I had a few games because I got unwell and I had to give it away. That was a uh, another team here in Canberra in Tuggeranong, but um, I enjoyed my indoor cricket time and. Uh, it was the only competition I think I ever won, really, you know, apart from school um, school awards in, in, uh, in, in academic areas. But it was the only sporting competition I was ever, ever won and I had, had anything victorious associated with it. That was a good old time, and um, that was 1989, and they were the glory days of my life. And uh, since then, it's been all a trudge, a lot of depression after that. And, work for a few years and Noah had his now for a couple of decades which has occupied my life but looking back they were good times hard times and challenging times and there was a lot of porcupines along the way but good times